is a genuine cool horror title yeah, but to you, me. You see this, and uh, I just thought about the uh, correlation between Spawn, where it's at, and old rock groups. Yeah. You know, where there's, you know, whether you like them or not, I'm going to throw them out there. You got R.S. Speedwagon out there, you know, playing all the time. You got Sticks, still playing great shows, still sounding great. You know, um, but you stick around long enough, and the people that liked you in the first place, oh, yeah, that's still coming out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, You sure. go to 300 issues, which is really rare yeah. for a comic book, and yes. now people are starting to come back around and say, hey, have you seen Spawn? I haven't read it in years. You know, right. it's been 20, you know, if you can sit there and say, it's been 20 years yeah. since I've read a Spawn. Right. You, This is must-read stuff. It's like it's a ben it's yeah. also now benefiting from the nostalgia factor. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's been around yeah. long enough yep. where all these, you know, when you go see Foreigner and, and you know, yeah. people are like, I didn't know they had all these hits. Yeah. You know, you weren't around, you know, when we were. Right. But a lot of these groups, if you just stick around long yeah. enough, Def Leppard, you know, still sells out Poison, all these bands. Yeah. They don't sell any records, <coughs> but people remember them, and they're still yeah. out there sure. doing their thing. And McFarland's kept that floating yeah. what, for so long when he could have let it go yeah. because of the success of his action figures. Well, the, yeah. you, know, you know, the, num a lot of other stuff. the numbers yeah. on that book were, like, sinking. I mean, and that's and that's the that's the thing now, collecting it. I, I'm lucky because I happen to have a lot of those, those issues where I guess he spawned, sort of got forgotten for a little while. Yeah. And then I really think when he did those homage covers, you know, and and they were low print runs. People buzz. I mean, I know I buzz. I still need one. And I, I'm trying to find one. Mm -hmm. But I think that was really smart because he threw it back to people like, going, "Oh yeah, look at that cover. I remember that." You know, he was sort of. And, and at the time, the sale. I mean, Spawn's. You know, readership was probably not super high. I mean, it's you know, it's not. But I think it reeled people back, and I think it reminded people and went, "That is so cool." Yeah. You know, and it came around, and you you started to look at it again, going, "Wait a second, he's really evolved this character." Oh, he does. This is he super, does a this is super cool. It's, it's super lines. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I you know I met him in what eighty seven, and the lines back then. Of course, he was doing Spider Man. Just got done Hulk, I think, at the time. Mm -hmm. So he was a super popular. That's poor Image, obviously. Mm -hmm. A couple years poor Image, and I think if he does a convention now, there's super lines for him. Oh, again, it's not going to be sitting there going. Maybe McFarland, yeah, there's about five or ten people in line. It's like I know I don't think so. No, there's five. And, and he hasn't really per se done anything. In comics for a long time, it, it was. He does an occasional cover. Well, he does co-write. He, he does throw some of his. Uh, actually, he's, he's not writing now, but he, he does sort of. But he's, he's becoming one of the legendary yeah. figures. Sure. Oh, without, oh, for sure. Without a doubt, I think he's probably been there a while. Without a doubt, he did the variant cover to Spawn this month. Yeah, it was a Walking Dead tribute. Yeah, cover. right. Yeah, and it's it's really yeah. really neat. And then they do, do it in black and white, and it really shows. Yeah, he does. He does. He does do some of the work on the covers you know, every now and then. You know, just to yeah, because he, he still shows. You know, uh, my brother Dean will send me. You know where he's doing those yeah, things, his drawings, you know, yeah. his drawings, and yeah, it's like why do I care what Tom McFarlane hasn't drawn a comic book in how many years? Mm -hmm. Right. I think he did uh, part of was it one hundred? Was it? Yeah. Back in the day, he he drew like the first half of it. Oh wow. Uh, well, no, one hundred Capullo. I mean, I think he's he did the he, well. They all there's there several one, variant yeah, covers. Yeah, you know, it was one. Yeah. Uh, one of the things where he actually come come back and did like half the half the book, and he hasn't done hardly anything yeah. since then. Hmm. But yet, why do I care to sit there and watch him do Spider-Man? Because he's always been very unique. And I've I've defended before in this podcast, Liefeld and Lee and everyone else for I don't care what you think of them now, but back then, they were very innovative. Yeah. You know, yeah. Liefeld, his you know yeah. cable. I mean, I you know you, you forget the stuff that he was on. You know, whenever it was you know the Deadpool and all that kind yeah. of stuff that he was actually on these books. Yeah. He was one of the hottest artists out there. They made a commercial with him in it. Yeah. Out of all the guys. The Levi yeah. 5 by one jeans commercial. Yeah. yeah. Years. Spike Lee. And you created X-Force? And I was like, oh, yeah. that's the one I'm thinking Hey, about. I got to say yeah. that, I got to yeah. say this, those covers were captivating. I mean, you know, that we, we've all, we've examined the flaws and they're there. However, you know what? When you're walking by, you stop, you mean, you're like, oh, you, you would look at it. You looked at it. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, mean, you, 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 I looked you, at it in disgust. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> sure. I get it. I mean, when I, when I saw him try to translate to doing whole books, I'm like going, oh, my God. You know, yeah. you know, but but he could do, boy, I tell you, he was the king, man. Those covers, you know, they were like coming out of that year. Well, he was, you yeah. know, it's, it's, it's like every trend. Uh, of course, one of the most recent ones. And now it's, you know, it's, what is it, 25, 30 years down. But, uh, what, 26 years. But the whole Seattle grunge. Yeah. You know, oh, well, you, yeah. still had, you still you still had characters and stuff. You know, <laughs> Tim, you, had, yeah. you had different groups. Soundgarden is not Nirvana in any way, shape, or form, or Alice right. in Chains, or Pearl Jam. There are different groups. I mean, Pearl Jam and Nirvana, even though they're all clumped together, they don't sound like the same band. Right. right. So you know, when you had that image, 
when they make that mass exodus from Marvel, and you had Valentino, and you had Silvestri, and all these guys. Silvestri, he doesn't do anything. I really wish, because he was a great artist. How about Wolf? Huh? How about yeah, Wolf? Wolf Potasio. Yeah. Does all that those occasional guys, cover. You know, they, yeah. yeah. They really brought comic books into you know, a modern feel. Yeah. Still to this day, you're still seeing that image look to a yeah. lot of things. And it did not exist before then. I remember those books coming out initially, and especially because the ones I got immediately were Spawn, Savage Dragon. Yeah. I, d I didn't care yes, about the too. Wildcats. I didn't care about Youngblood. I didn't care about Shadowhawk. The Max when it roll, rolled around. And, and the Max. Oh, and Wetworks because I, well, I love Wills. Yeah, I, I, I love Wills. And I, I'll, to be fair to him, um, I didn't even give that book a chance because yeah. I think it was the last one that came out. And I had picked up Wildcats number one and Youngblood number one. I was like, I didn't like either one of them for different reasons. I thought, you know what, I'm not even giving this one a, yeah. a chance. But the thing that stood out with um, with the Max and with Savage Dragon and Spawn yeah. was just how bright and colorful yes. everything was. And it was it was so much prettier to look at than any of the books coming out by Marvel yeah. or DC, that, at least that I was looking at at the time. Sure. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, you remember, like, especially with Savage Dragon, I just remember it always seeming like it bled o across the page. Like, yeah. like it just went all, all the way off the edge, and, and Marvel didn't really do that as much as yeah. then. Spawn did, maybe, maybe Spawn you guys did can, as uh, well. Well, maybe you guys can uh, help me out here. I don't remember. I think when they went and did Image, they took this style with them. Am, <laughs> I, am I forgetting this correctly? Marvel and DC did not pick up that style. You know, the image style that right. the Jim Lee, Liefeld, McFarlane? Am, right. I, am I not thinking this? Am I, I remembering mean, this correctly? Because I don't think they sat there and said, hey, we need a McFarlane. Go find somebody that draws Right, that. no, I don't think that. No, either, no. not at all. Um, I think Which that, is really strange, because here are these very successful books with these guys on it, Jim Lee's artwork, McFarlane, mm -hmm. these guys. And when they left, they just sort of took that yeah. whole style with them. I think that they probably heavy, were heavily influencing Marvel uh, and I only speak to Marvel because that's what I was looking at at the time, but um, to brightening up the colors and, and really bleeding the ink into that page because I remember Fantastic Four with, like, Walt Simonson. Um, I wasn't a fan of the work, and if you remember, it always kind of looked kind of um, bleached out. The color wasn't really great, and, and it was the same thing on Amazing Spider-Man. It, it kind of had that same feel, and then after those guys left and Spawn and Savage Dragon were coming out, I just remember picking up Again, the books I got were spectacular, amazing, and Fantastic Four. The color just oh. came up like they were like, "Okay, we got to do something about this." I believe that was probably a conscious decision. Yeah. But it's strange that Marvel would see the success. These guys were so successful; they said goodbye to Marvel. They said goodbye to a lucrative career. Yes. And they're like, "We're out of here." And then they took their stuff and was very successful with Image, but Marvel and DC didn't step in and say, "We should draw like that." Right. Yeah. Did Did you guys ever see that documentary about the the image guys? And it, it was on YouTube briefly, and then it was on Netflix. Did you ever I've see? I've never it? seen it. Uh -huh. It It basically has those guys, the, the the five founding fathers, they put it, telling the story, and it just bounces between them. And Rob Liefeld's on there, and he's like, he's like, we walked in the Marvel offices, and I I, I want to say it was Jim Shooter, was that you the the editor chief at the time? Those guys. I, can't. I believe that's who it was. Um, I don't know. But in any case. Um, they're like, we walked in, and, and Todd just said, let me do the talking, and basically laid out what they wanted, and when they said, hesitated and said no, he goes, then we're out. And, he's, and Rob Liefeld said, he's like, he got up to leave, and I just remember my heart beating out of my chest, and I could hear it in my ears, and we just got up and walked out, because Todd said, like, this is what we're going to do, and this is the plan, and he was confident, I was like, what is going to happen next? And they got up and walked out, he said, we walked across the street. And I don't know if Liefeld has anything to do with Image anymore. He, he's doing the Youngblood covers. Mm -hmm. But I'm, but I'm if you, if you look at the operation wise. No, if you look at the if you look at the book, Todd and and um, Eric are both great, and Sylvester. Mm. If you look, if you look, if, pick the up any book. Guys. Yeah, that, it's printed on the. I just, I just, you know, you mentioned it, it's really funny. I just happened to look, read the new Spawn. And I just happened to look down there. I saw you know, Mark Sylvester is you know, uh, and, and Larson and Todd seem to be the ones that are very much. Well, it's crazy because I've seen, uh, Jim Lee took Wildstorm and went to DC, and surprisingly. He still does books all the time. Hmm. He says you're working on a book at all times. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, it might be a mini series or something like that, 12 issue series. But for who he is, you know, executive wise, he's he's very busy as an artist. Yeah. Well, and, you know, a guy like Jim Lee or, or McFarlane, I think 
and, and a lot of other guys, Mark Bagley and 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 on down the line, uh, Kelly Jones. Yeah. Like if they decided to stop with the overall discipline that I'm sure it takes to put a book out on a regular basis, those guys could have a really comfortable living just going to the cons and doing sketches. I mean, yeah. Kelly Jones is sitting there, and it's your turn with your pad. What do you pay for a Batman sketch or, mm-hmm. or a Batman man thing sketch? You know what I mean? And, and it takes him whatever. Let's say he spends 20 minutes. Doing something with a marker. I'm, I mean, get, I'm getting a dead man swamp thing right there. I don't. You know, know what I mean? I'm, I'm like, oh, here you go. But <laughs> I mean, if he's cranking it out the way George Perez cranks those things yeah. out, like I mean, he does it with a marker yeah. and he, he'll do a quick pencil, you know, template mm-hmm. and boom, 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 in ten minutes, here you are, sixty five dollars. Yeah. You know, if it's if it's Kelly Jones or, yeah. you know, what, what's the price on that? If it's McFarland yeah. whipping up a spawn, yeah. what is that worth? That's hundred fifty yeah. or two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, that that's I don't. You know what? My understanding is he does a lot of cons. And he doesn't. I don't think he charges, but the lines are a million miles long. I think he just probably does, you know, signings. I don't even. Yeah, I don't know if you, you might get a commission, but you you probably pay a, a, a oh, fair penny to get a commission. I'm sure for he, sure. He, well, he's he said this before. He sits down and he signs. Yeah. He doesn't take breaks. He just signs the yep. whole time. That's what that's what, how he was back in the middle high con, and yeah. supposedly that's still how he is. Well, this today. this book here, this you know this this um, homage cover, you know, basically. There's a company that goes out twice a year and they go to his house and he sits down and signs. That's how I got mine signed. I mean, he just sits down, he signs them, you know, and uh, for, for fans that if they want to get them, you know, graded and things like that. But at that cons, he just asks, you know, you're right, he sits there and signs the whole time, you know, and it's very, it's very cool about it. They say he's, he's super cool. But, you know, the problem is so many people want his autograph, sure. you know. Uh, I, yeah, he could. I mean, he certainly could. I mean, if, yeah, absolutely. Drawing little spawn heads. Are you kidding? You know, I, yeah, I, we haven't even talked about his. His figures, I mentioned them, but yeah, they're his figures, so cool. they're again, he, he, all of a sudden, yeah. it's it's on totally different level. Yeah, the figures, the figures, figures took it up the here. I mean, yeah. the, the likeness that, when you see the football figure, I have a Johnny Unitas, yeah. you see the Johnny Unitas action figure, it looks like Johnny Unitas. Yeah. Yeah. Not a, not one of those Mego yeah. know, characters. Oh, yeah. They, they, they just changed the character, like the Star Wars, the Secret Wars, the ones that Marvel did yeah. Yeah. Know, back in the day. You know, it just looks like they just repainted the same character. Yeah. We did a couple yeah. things, and that's all it is. It's like it might as well be a statue. Yeah, you know? yeah but his his detail, the, oh, even yeah. the army men, any, anything oh, that he's I have, done. I have the heap. The, the heap's death. crazy. He's got a shovel coming out of his head and an old rubber tire. I'm like, oh, wow, this is a cool figure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're not they're not per se action figures. They're more yeah, action I'll statues. Love, yeah. yeah. You know, the McFarland. Uh, Kim, and, it's really yeah. cool looking. I mean, I, I look, I study them. They're meti- they're the detail for an action figure. It's meticulous. They're really cool. I yeah. love them. I think they're great. That's awesome. Really cool. Well, guys, we're getting ready to wrap up here. We're going to have. Wow, uh, that went fast. Yeah, Calling All Heroes uh, is uh, sponsoring again, along with literally thousands of other stores across the country. It's the Halloween Comic Fest. Yay. And it's going to kick off today from noon to five. We have over a thousand comic books to give away. They also sent, in addition to the, the full size books, I don't know if you guys saw the mini comics. Yes. And they're all like for younger kids and. I mean, anybody can enjoy them, but they're specifically targeted for that. So, That's cool. Um, if you're watching, um, I'm thinking when this airs, you guys will probably have about a, about a half an hour before the shop opens. Uh, definitely stop by and just pick up some comics. There's nothing, uh, there's no uh, purchase necessary at all. Just come on in, have some, some food, have, uh, have a good time, enter the, the costume contest if you have one, and um, uh, we're, uh, we're going to have a great time here. I think it'll be a whole lot of fun. Yep. 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 All right. So, um, just like to say, thanks so much again for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Please uh, do us a favor. This is definitely going to reach a bigger audience, I think, now with the, the video. Let us know what you think. Uh, if you have any opinions, any any ideas, uh, suggestions, good or bad, uh, we'd love to hear about them. And um, that's where I'm at. So I'm George. I'm Gary. And I'm Walt. <laughs> and next week we'll hopefully have Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Tim. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, thanks so much, guys, and we will see you next week. Take care. <laughs>